Hello, good evening, and welcome to Vilnius, Lithuania. This is the Basketball Champions League. It's regular season in Group H, and it's game day five between Vridas Vilnius and EV Baskets Oldenburg. Well, here is the entry to the arena, and you look inside that changing room. A lot of famous players have worn the shirt of Ritas Vilnius over the years. And of course, uh, the players showing up tonight hoping that they are going to bring some silverware uh, to this famous club. So Ivan Bua in there, you see uh, a lot of uh, steely eyed focus players coming in as well as for EV Baskets Oldenburg of course uh, Ritas Vilnius uh, having won two of their four games in the basketball Champions League the only team that they lost to was this EV Baskets Oldenburg team that was in Germany so Martin Breunig and co hoping to do the double over Ritas to uh, breathe some life, uh, some more life into their basketball Champions League campaign. Remember, you got to finish in second or third place uh, to get to the qualifications for the round of 16. Of course, if you win the group, then you move uh, into the round of 16. There's Ivan Bu, of course, who. So, coach, what lessons your team learned from the previous game against Eva Basket Oldenburg? Uh, some tactical lessons for sure. Uh, we we must be more disciplined on uh, who to attack, where to find the best mismatches, uh, offensive targets we must have, and much more discipline uh, we must be in defense. What would be the key elements for the positive outcome today? 
You know, I think in this kind of game, uh, as the price of the game is so big for both teams, I think we, we will have energy. We will have the passion, both teams will have, but the difference uh, maker, I think, will be the discipline, uh, you know, on the court. And then we must show a little bit better than uh, Oldenburg does. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So the Ritas, Vilnius, Roster, Martyrs, Normantis, uh, Maris, Indoor, Arnis, Adam Afishis, Gidis, Radzavichis, Baitis, Karinayauskas, Martinez, Patsavichis, Lucas, uh, Alaskas, and all the way down, of course, uh, the Uwe Basket, the EV, e, the EV, e Baskets uh, being uh, introduced here. And again, Mladen Drijencic uh, spoke so eloquently uh, before the game about how this uh, Ritas Vilnius team uh, will be a tough proposition at home. Of course, his team had the home court advantage the last time uh, these two teams met uh, when EV Baskets uh, won that encounter. So EV Baskets, remember, winning uh, the first meeting 76 to 72. But as you look at this uh, Ritas Vilnius team uh, coming out and again, uh, despite that early loss, that four point setback uh, on October 6th, uh, they've rebounded OK. They beat the two time defending champions, uh, Areta San Pablo Burgos, by 18 points here in Vilnius. Uh, then they fell by just three points at a very good Besiktas team in Istanbul. And uh, then they rebounded on the following game day uh, to beat Besiktas uh, 82 to 69. So they actually have uh, the, the head to head tiebreaker over Besiktas. And uh, tonight, a vital game for them uh, if they can get the win here against EV Baskets Oldenburg. So nothing comes easy in the Basketball Champions League. And uh, you better believe that despite the, the recent struggles of EV Baskets and of course their bottom of the league in Germany, uh, they will be coming into this uh, with one thing in mind, and that is to get a very important win on the road, perhaps something that can serve as a spark uh, for them for the rest of the season. And of course for Ritas, you cannot fathom uh, the possibility of losing at home. You need to protect the home court and that would uh, improve you to three and two, and it would really uh, the week. And this Basketball Champions League, remember, uh, it's been a, a sensational seven years, keeps getting better and better every season. Uh, year one, Lenovo Tenerife winning it, and then in year two, Ike Athens winning it home in the final four. That was a dramatic season for them. Then in year three in that incredible final four in Antwerp, Belgium, it was Virtus Bologna uh, winning the title. And of course, the last couple of years have been won by Areda San Pablo Burgos. I never had a team win it from Lithuania, never had a team win it uh, from Germany, but who knows, maybe uh, this will be the year. But right now, it's a one game at a time mentality for both of these teams. And Ritas uh, Vilnius, again, looking to ride the home court uh, to a big win, a very important win, uh, as they try to get into uh, at least uh, the second or third spot to, to lock in one of those and to try to get into the round of 16. This is uh, one of the traditional homelands or hotbeds of basketball, if you will, in European basketball here in Lithuania. Everybody knows it. Uh, the type of place that when you're born, uh, a basketball is placed in your crib. It is uh, really the number one sport and the passion you feel it every time uh, the Lithuanian uh, fan, the Lithuanian teams run onto the court. These uh, the fans uh, from EV Baskets Oldenburg will be hoping uh, that their team uh, can spoil the party tonight. And again, crucial win. EV Baskets looking for something to turn their season around, not just uh, to improve their prospects of moving on in this competition, but also uh, looking for a spark in Germany. So Martin Skoslovskis in the middle from Latvia, Thomas Biswell on the right from France, and Paolo Marcus uh, from Portugal on the left. So uh, good referee and crew tonight, uh, ready to call the shots. Kozlovskis uh, certainly didn't have to travel that far uh, to make it to this game, just coming from neighboring 
uh, Latvia. And uh, if you look at the faces on the players of both of these teams, you can see they've got their game faces on. So Phil Pressey, Camp Clark, Mihail Mihailik, the Poland International tie, Odiasi and Ricky Paulding is the starting five or makes up the starting five for EV Baskets. What a story. Ricky Paulding has become uh, continuing to play at such a high level uh, for so many years. Uh, one of the most famous players ever at this great club, EV Baskets, now 39 years of age. And for Ritas Vilnius, it'll be Margaret Normantis, Gidis Trebsavichis, Ivan Bua, uh, Speedy Smith, and Arnas Budkavichis, the Lithuania international who uh, performed so well for Lithuania in the last window of the European qualifiers for the FIBA Basketball World Cup. 2023. So Jabinius, the head coach of Ritas. Vilnius is team second in the Lithuanian top flight behind Jalgiris. And of course, you, it's, a, it's a city that breathes basketball every time you come to Lithuania, all over the country, but especially in Vilnius and Jalgiris. Uh, you just feel that passion, and that's probably uh, not lost on that man right there, Mladen Brincic, the head coach of EV Baskets. And it's been, a, again, a tough year for EV Baskets, uh, but it's, uh, again, it's not a lost season for this team. If they can get a win tonight and start to turn things around, who knows, it could end up being a special year. But it'll be a tough one uh, to get here on the road. Still no Max Heidegger for EV Baskets and a team uh, looking from it for some inspiration uh, for one of these players. Now we're going to have a, a minute of silence here for Stefan Jelovac, who sadly, the Serbian international, former Ritas Vilnius player, passed away. Very, very sad moment uh, for Serbian basketball, for European basketball, for basketball here in Lithuania as well. Much loved. Stevan Jelovac has passed away. Seven Yalabats was on the books of uh, Ike Athens this season, and uh, his loss is felt by many. Tavo <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can see how his loss is mourned uh, by many, including uh, especially all of those over there on the bench for Ritas Vilnius, Stefan Jelovac. Uh, Lithuania, we are underway here in the Basketball Champions League. Ritas and EV Baskets. Meeting for the second time this season, EV Baskets won the first game in Germany back in October. 
So it's been a long time since these two teams met. And EV Baskets come out and missed with their first attempt. And driving in and scoring immediately. Gitas Radzavicius. Uh, got a quick step, got into the lane and made it look easy. And the Heilic gives them some uh, perimeter firepower. Oh boy, a little bit fumbled away Odiasi and now on the quick break. And you see Bogavichis with a little pump fake drawing the foul, and that little fan liked it. So Arnas Bogavichis earns the trip to the free throw line. They don't call him Speedy Smith for nothing. He really got down the middle of that break. And was able to get the basketball to this man, Bogavichis who makes the first free throw. And the second as well. So in fact, the assist was for Dred Savicius, who uh, made the final pass to Butkavicius. Now mid-range and boy, he is, it's a good distance uh, for that man right there, Cam Clark, almost automatic. Normantis, back to Butkavishis, Bua posting up and tries to get to Red Savishis. The ball goes outside and now a nice little runner. So good play by Normantis taking advantage. And Mihailik fumbles it, gets it back, or lost control of it. Here he is feeling his way. Cam Clark bumped and fouled by Normantis. Could be a tough matchup, uh, Cam Clark, uh, for those Ritas Vilnius players. He's got good size and he can step outside. Triencic barking his orders. Mihailik dumps it down low, and there's the flush by Tai Odiasi. Odiasi. First two points for the big man. Now Speedy Smith, bounce pass, and Ivan Bua goes up and travels before the shot. Odiasi takes the inbounds pass. Now Pressy, he's as fast as Grease Lightning. Goes underneath the basket, brings it back outside. Mihailik, that's his game, but he's off target. But Savage just meanwhile, rebounds and runs, hands it off to Normantis. In the lane, Bua can't get it to drop. Well, that ball just sat on the rim and then went out. Pressy, quick pass to Odiasi. Odiasi, nice footwork from the big fella. Oh, number 21 ties it up at six. Oh, speed on speed with Pressy and Speedy Smith. But Cavicius, front back of the rim, stays out. Pressy saves it in bounds. And it's Bua that corrals it. Now he finds Red Savages who scores down low. 
One of those times where the hustle did not pay off for EV Baskets, saving the basketball in bounds. Here he is, and this time Cam Clark can't get it to drop. Normantis gets down low. Good hands from Pressy. Get those hands up on defense. Make those passes harder. Smith. And ball turned over. Pressy up to Paulding, lays it up and in. And the veteran gets his first two points. Well, a nice little uh, move into the lane there from Speedy Smith. And uh, most of the Ritas Vilnius points coming in the lane and close to the basket. Mihailik drives in, tough move, scores over Normantis. Smith has it knocked away by Pressy, and then Pressy is going to get a wide open, uncontested layup. So, Evie Baskets move in front 12 to 10. Five and a half minutes into the game. Bua turns and pushed by Odiasi, who does the right thing by helping up the big man. That was just a quick spin that Odiasi was not going to be able to co contend with. So he goes out of the game. And Ivan Bua. Now with his chance at the line. First one is good. If he gets in the flow, he is extremely tough to stop, Ivan Bua. And the second one is good. Bua. The award he received at the beginning of the game, the MVP of November and the Basketball Champions League, richly deserved, just illustrates how good he was. Well, Mihailik. Oh, Paulding gets the baseline. Couldn't finish. And they stay with it, still can't get it to drop. Now the other way it goes, and Ritas Radzavicius, he can't get it to drop. Neither team's making layups. Normatis gets it back over to Indoor, who's come into the game, and the Senegal International misses, but Kavishis gets it back, and Rita's second and third chances. Martin Bruinig now in the game as well, number 12 for EV Baskets. Speedy Smith misses. Indoor another rebound, puts it up and in. They're going to love the effort from the high energy Indoor. He plays like that for the Lions. And he's getting it done tonight. Just a spark off the bench. Mihailik. Ben Savages. Sharing the basketball nicely. Oh boy, Indoor is getting ready to flush it and just lost control of the basketball as he got up over the rim. So an opportunity goes begging for Indoor and for Ritas Vilnius. 
Karinowskis comes into the game for Vitas. Vilnius. Von Bua takes a seat. Handling the basketball, number five, Matt Farrell, and the ball goes back over to Ritas. Red Zavich is good. And the lead is five points. And Drincic uh, wastes no time in calling timeout. Zavich has been very active here in the early going. Karaniauskas. Gets it over to Nomantis, who then passes to the corner to Red Savishis. And he doesn't hesitate, lets it fly. Shot to fall yet. He holds down, okay? You give the ball, okay? Watch. Stand up. 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 Well, Rezavages has uh, played with a steely confidence tonight. Hasn't hesitated. And here he was hitting the three-point shot. He's got seven points, three of four from the floor. He's got a couple of rebounds. Also has a block shot. So it's been a great start for him. Rezavages. Broinik hands it off, a little weave up high. Now Farrell steps back. It's to the court, and it's Broinik. Into the other corner, a three-point shot. Not there, but Broinik with the rebound, passes it back outside. Clark from the elbow, it's good. That was Sebastian Herrera who missed that corner three, but just shows the importance of offensive rebounding. And Evie Baskets more than happy to pass it back outside to look for those jump shots, whereas Ritas Vilnius uh, really committed, it seems, to getting it down low. Here is the hustle. Great work by Redzavicius. Saves it in bounds. It comes to Endor. Nice pass. And Karen Niauskas can't get the drop. And boy, did they dodge a bullet there. EV Baskets now breaking the other way. Farrell. Broinik battling for position on the smaller Normantis. Farrell, nice bounce pass to Broinik. He goes up and traveling is the call on Martin Broinik. A oh, tough break. Good aggressive play, but not allowed to take steps. Not allowed to take too many steps. Normantis uh, gets his first breather and Lucas Ulaskis comes into the game, number 10. He's gonna inbound a basketball. Terrific atmosphere here in Vilnius, Lithuania. Ritas leading by three, and they turn it over. Broinik wanted to trip, wanted to push it up quickly, had to hold on to it. Well, they get it to Sebastian Herrera this time. He doesn't make a mistake, and he ties it at 17. Red Zavages into the corner. Laskis can't get it to drop. And Indoor couldn't pick it up. And Sebastian Herrera, oh boy. 
Oh, tough break, but even so, dangerous pass to make. You got to be really careful when you're under the other team's basket making that pass. But Savage is opportunistic, leading the way with nine points. Seems to be at the right place at the right time. So the reach and that foul is to give. So Karniauskas picks it up. He's going to go out. Excuse me, Karniauskas. Adam Adam just comes into the game. And another foul called on Adam Avishis. Phil Pressy, son of a, a great, great player, and his, Paul Pressy, you probably remember him in his days uh, with the Milwaukee Bucks. Here it is, final seconds ticking off the clock. Farrell misses everything. But EV Baskets uh, providing a lot of uh, impetus in this game, just trailing by a couple as Reeves Vilnius 19, EV Baskets 17 at the end of one. Four of four from the line, Ritas, and really that's the difference. That's why they've got the two-point lead. EV Baskets have yet to attempt a free throw. Uh, they're seven of 12 inside the arc. Gitas Radzavichis has been taking it to EV Baskets. That was his first basket. Cam Clark came out and got his first two. Normantis uh, was aggressive early on. Oriasi got in on the action. Much to the disappointment of the crowd. And Coach Javinas calling the plays. It's like in Laden Vrijic living and dying by every possession. This was Radzavich's three-pointer. So 19 to 17 at the end of one in favor of the hosts. Von Buick, no doubt, coming back in in this quarter. Had a total of 39 points in the two games against Besiktas. He was terrific. Bukavishis with Farrell. Trying to guard him, then the help defense comes, and Broinick did what he needed to do. Farrell pushes it quickly. It was the right idea by Bukavishis, but there's plenty of time for the help to come. Cam Clark, and then turns and has it knocked away by Bukavishis. Quickly to the other end, Bukavishis. Oh boy, good drive, but. He's fouled, so he will go back to the free throw line. And the foul called on Sebastian Arreda. No, it was on Pjanic. Excuse me, number 35. Ricky Paulding. Number 23 comes back into the game. Cam Clark goes out. But Kavishis, first player ever to have a triple double in the Basketball Champions League several years ago when he was on the books of Neptunus, another team in 
Lithuania. And here he is making one of two. So three-point advantage for Ritas Vilnius. Entry pass down low to Bruinik. He likes to match up. He's going to work. And he gets at the drop. Nice play. Tanner Lesnar trying to defend. Got a little bit of help, but wasn't enough to stop Martin Bruinik. Now here's Lesnar fouled by, not surprisingly, uh, Farrell and you know opponents are going to do that they're going to they're going to try to post him up because of the size advantage is something that he's gotten used to his entire life whenever you go up against uh, other teams to try to get those mismatches here it is again another one pass back outside and excellent rebound by Pjanic Endure trying to guard him and Farrell decides to pass. Odiasi tries to go old school with a uh, hook shot and quickly Bukavishis going the other way. Lessner. Lesnar misses. Now Farrell again. EV Baskets can reclaim the lead. Farrell pulls up from deep. Good. Much better than the last time he attempted a long jump shot. He had the air ball at the end of the first quarter and gave us a better idea of what he can do with it. Lessner. And they're going to count it. Oh, excuse me, Ulatskis with a nice little cross, cross uh, Euro step. And taking the brunt of it was Sebastian Herrera. And I'm not sure if he's bleeding or not, but he definitely got a shot to the face. Inadvertent would be the ruling there. Well, he's definitely bleeding, so you know he's not faking it, that's for sure. Maybe a, a little unfortunate not to get the benefit of the call there. That is what you call taking one for the team. And the call still went against him. Latskis gets the free throw to drop. Turn around and Paulding can't get the drop. Lesnar rebounds it, hands it off. Karaniauskas, now they turned it over to Ritas and then the foul by Karaniauskas. So he exits the game. Karaniauskas, 
One point lead for Ritas Vilnius here. Still early ish in the second quarter. Also in the game, the German international Bennett Hunt, number 33. And boy, they turned it over cheaply. Here comes Normantis. And that's that would give uh, Drienchic uh, some more gray hair if he had any, that's for sure. You don't want to see your team turn it over that way. Bennett Hunt brings it across. Odiasi catches it on the low block, fouled by Tanner Lesnar. Or no, maybe it's going to be on Normantis reaching in to help. So Lesnar, who actually played in Germany for Ludwigsburg, another team in the Basketball Champions League, goes out of the game. Here is Cam Clark, and this time it will not drop. And Normantis called for the foul by the Portuguese referee, called for hooking, not just boxing out, but kind of hooking his man. And you can see the explanation from the ref. Watch this. Well, perhaps a tough call, but Normantis picks up his second foul. And they get it right back. Bennett Hunt not able to inbound the basketball. Bennett Hunt guarding Speedy Smith. Speedy Smith into the corner, but Cavishus turns oh nice move though did not have the finish normantis reaches in really making a pest of himself but cavishes again ritas vilnius into indoor he goes up and throws it down two hands and laden three inches has to burn a timeout the scrappy ritas team not giving up on anything and EB Baskets giving it away cheaply a couple of times. Indoor, high energy indoor, throws it down. Well, almost half of the points of Ritas Vilnius have been scored off of the EV Basket Oldenburg turnovers. So EV Baskets have uh, turned it over seven times. And Ritas Vilnius have scored 12 points off those turnovers. And that is what is going to drive the coach crazy. So you got to protect the basketball. You got to be able to inbound the basketball. Can't turn the ball over at midcourt like they did. No. Oh. Five point game. They pass it around. Odiasi, the double comes. He's got somebody open. He gets it to Cam Clark. Tough shot, Cam Clark. Oh boy, Odiasi did well to get those hands up there for the putback attempt, but missed. And here's Speedy Smith. And here's Endor again. And Endor stays with it. And it's the hustle right now that's making the difference for this Ritas Vilnius team. They are playing going for every rebound, going for the loose balls, the active hands.
But we're back in the game. And that presents its own problems. Odiasi is going to have to contend with that. Speedy Smith. Now it's Bua. Tries to make himself available. Good help, but a foul called, I believe, on Pressy. And Drienchich was hoping his team was going to come up with a steal and go the other way. Now Evie Baskets over the limit. That's a long time to be over the limit. So Ritas Vilnius go to the line. Endure sinks the first. Endure played for his country, Senegal, in the FIBA Afrobasket that was staged uh, this past summer. And Kigali, Rwanda, he makes the second. Actually had a hip injury while he was there. It's good to see him back on the court, not showing any effects of that. Broidick. Scrapping away for position, carded by Savchus. Back outside it goes to Mihailik. We're back to a seven point lead. Mihailik into Broinik. Broinik, tough shot. Turnaround. Well, boy, another great rebound for Odiasi. He gets it up and puts it up and in. Boy, Odiasi. Odiasi didn't come into this game uh, averaging big numbers and rebounding. Here's Bua from downtown, holding with the box out, but but Cavish was able to bat it out to Speedy Smith. Indoor. Pua with the rebound and Pressy knocks it away. Now Pressy and here comes EV Baskets. Mihailik on the break. Decides not to uncork it. Pressy has yet to attempt one and now he gets crossed up. Turns it over. Indoor triggers the break. Oh boy, that's a killer for EV Baskets. Excellent work by Ritas Vilnius. And Pressy takes it the other way and gets a three point play opportunity. Ritas Vilnius uh, wanting a timeout. Not sure what Speedy Smith is uh, appealing. Let's get out of the bench of the Lithuanians. is not disappointed tonight that's for sure he has really led this team he's got 11 points four rebounds a steal and a block and a game high plus 15 efficiency which takes in on all those uh, all the statistical categories it's not taking bad shots Surprising, Odiasi only has two rebounds. Seems like he should have more than that. Here's Pressy, and does not complete the three-point play. Kalinowskis gets it over to Red Savages. Kalinowskis is good. The lefty strokes it. 
He points the advantage. Mihailik goes off one foot. Oh, that was a sweet finish. Evie Baskets won the first game, remember, by four points. Now, they don't want to lose this one, but if they do, they don't want to lose by five points or more, that's for sure. In case of a potential tiebreaker between these two teams. In fact, that wouldn't matter, would it? Because uh, Ritas would actually go up three. Uh, three and they'd be three and two and EV baskets would be one and four uh, with one game day remaining so really it's it's a winter bust for this uh, EV baskets team tonight you feel like they've got to get the win Paulding gets down low off the iron Lessons. Lessoner, rather, excuse me. Rebounds it now. Here comes Kalinowskis. He just hit a three. Gets it down to Lessoner. And Lessoner bats it back out to Kalinowskis. And now great hands again by Pressy. He is just so active. Those quick hands. I mean, you, you just cannot put a price on that. You better be awfully careful if you've got the basketball and he is anywhere near you because he is going for the steal. And what a finish. Well, Speedy Smith did not want to commit another foul on the layup. So he just kind of flew past. Well, just domination on the boards for Ritas Vilnius. You can see 21 to 12 advantage. And five rebounds for Kavishis, four piece for Maurice Indoor and Gitas Ratsavishis. Also three for Tanner Lesner. Smaller team on the floor now for Ritas with Bua out of the game. Karaniauskas looks for some space, puts it up and in. Boy, that was a sweet finish. Went right at Odiasi and banked it in. Mahalik. Oh, bounce pass. Beautiful play. Great con contested shot. Oh, look at that. Indoor again. Two blocks on the same possession. And then he went for the third, and Bukavicius called for a push. So Odiasi stayed with it. Give him credit. Bukavicius says, who, me? I just went straight up. Well, the video replay will not lie if we see it. There's Normantis coming back into the game. Boy, what incredible work there by Endur. So the first block shot they gave to uh, Bukavishis, in fact. So Indoor got a block there, and Bukavishis got one. Here's Odiasi. And a very uh, different-looking free throw stroke for Odiasi. He misses the first. That looked good, that one. Second's good. Pjanic is going to come back into the game for Odiasi. Oh, 
Cody Ossie shoots about 61% from the line. At least he was coming into this game. Speedy Smith goes behind his back, gets it to endure. Quick turn for him, and he goes off, and he's fouled on the play. What a strong move by Maurice Endure. And I tell you what, he has played a good game tonight off the bench. It's the best, in fact, it's the best I've seen him play in some time. I mean, he has been active. So Paulding comes back in. Also, Lucas Velazquez comes back in, number 10, and Indoor just keeps uh, performing at a high level now. So nine points as well as four rebounds for Indoor. And again, Veritas Vilnius have equaled their biggest lead of the game, eight points. Mihailik over to Pjanic. Oh boy, Pjanic blocked by Red Savages. Normantas shot, or game clock about to expire. Normantas. And that is how the first half finishes. But you have to admire the tenacity, the approach of Ritas Vilnius. They are taking no prisoners tonight. They lead it 41 to 33 over Evi Vasquez Oldenburg at halftime. Well, nine of 10 at the line for Rizas Vilnius is the stat that really jumps out at you. They have been attacking the basket and to good effect. If they haven't been scoring, they've been getting to the line and also they're rebounding 22 to 14 on top. But Savages, Indoor, and Karniauskas, uh, the scoring leaders for Ritas, Odiasi, Presti, and Clark for EV Baskets. Well, this is what you call a tone setter right here. I mean, uh, but Zavishis came out and had the bit between the teeth from the very beginning, and it was just. A terrific first half for him. He played 16 minutes and 21 seconds. Odiasi, meanwhile, uh, has been very active for EV Baskets. This is Odiasi again. He went to work on Bua scoring with that reverse layup. He's got nine points and three rebounds. Paulding, that's his only two points of the game. And Speedy Smith also getting in on the act. He's got, that was his two points. Mihailik, that was his first two points. And Pressy, who has impressed. But you love that. You love what uh, Indoor has brought from the, Brent, the bench. He's brought a sense of urgency and has played at 100 miles per hour and has fought for everything. And Gages Jabinas has to uh, be impressed with Indoor tonight. That was a very...
Just like a house on fire, look at the rejection! Kaiser Gates, not in your house, he says. Terrific defense. Manco drives in. Oh, Atar says, not in my house! three-point play. First of all, the great catch and feeling the contact alertly makes the move to the basket. Look out. Palmer hits the runway. Throws it down. Redis Vilnius on top of EV Baskets Oldenburg at halftime. game here uh, tonight. Remember, Ritas Vilnius coming in at 2-2 two and two, up against this EV Baskets Oldenburg team that they lost to at the beginning of the season who are 1-3. and three. So, uh, Ritas Vilnius uh, looking like a much tougher customer tonight at home and So 
EV Baskets looking to uh, to get their second wind of the season. Let's listen to Coach Trincic. Coach, your team is down by eight points. What do you need to improve? Yeah, we must uh, offensively be aggressive and take the care on the ball to don't give the fast break situation for the Ritas. And uh, the key player must start to scoring. And defensively, we must be stronger in one on one, -one situation and the box out. The three-point shots are not going in, so do you need more three-point shots? I don't understand you, sorry. Uh, the main game is uh, in the field, not behind the three-point shot line. Are you missing the three-point shots? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is this. exactly, this is the, this is the key, yeah. Uh, our ritmus in the north. Thank yeah. you. Rodriguez obviously has a lot of concern. See the shooting numbers for both teams. To start with 50-50 uh, balls, you know, we, we must win those. We are playing at home, it's, it's a very important game for us. And we need to sacrifice our bodies on that. And of course, better job with box out. Uh, Diaz and uh, uh, Bruining already have uh, six offensive rebounds. That's unacceptable. Thank you. Thank you. See the rebounding numbers for both teams as well. Ritas, 22-14 for EV Baskets. And, you know, it is those uh, high energy, I keep talking about energy and intensity. Uh, it's the effort, and that's where, you know, Rita, uh, Gitas Ratsavichis has been so good, but all...
really has been the approach of Ritas. That's what's made the difference for them tonight. They have won those 50-50s. Well, how big will Presley be tonight? You know, we haven't really spoken enough about him, really, but you think about it, he's got two steals uh, and a rebound to go with his six points. Uh, but his ability to put pressure on the ball, that'll be a factor. Uh, if Farrell's going to play, he's going to have to uh, perhaps uh, bring a little bit of offense as well from three-point range. So Farrell is going to start here in the second half. They're trying something new. Pressy out there as well. Pressy gets it to Odiasi that turns it over. Ratsevich just quickly to the other way. Normantes puts it up and in. Nightmare start for EV Baskets. I'm sure they were talking about not turning the basketball over. So biggest lead of the game now. Ten points for Ravitas Vilnius. They're going for the jugular. Paulding over to Cam Clark. He's been quiet since hitting that early shot, and here he comes and provides a much needed jump shot. So, six points for Cam Clark. And now the reach, and the foul called on Matt Farrell. I mean, any coach is going to tell you it's got to start on the defensive end, especially especially if you're trying to get back into a game or if you're trailing. You got to take care of the D. You got to take care of the boards. Here is Normantis fouled by, by Farrell attempting a three-point shot. And that is a very, very poor play by Farrell. If indeed he got him, I'm sure he doesn't think the foul was there as he looks over at the referee, but the referee's got to call what he sees. You simply cannot foul the jump shooter, and you simply cannot foul the three-point shooter. That's three free throws. The Cardinal sin. Well, you get so many good three-point shooters these days. You do feel like you have to get out and get them. Well, Normantis uh, came into this game shooting at 38.1% from three-point range. He only makes two of the three, so a small reprieve. And back to a 10-point lead. Farrell. Oh, boy. I think he was fortunate there. It looked like that got away from him. It went right to Odiasi. Into the corner it goes Cam Clark. Speedy Smith has it knocked away, but there is Brad Savages always at the right place at the right time, and Bua puts it up and in. Biggest lead of the game now, 12 points for Ritas Vilnius. Clark to Pressy in the corner, shot clock winding down. Pressy lets it fly. And there's Brad Savages once again, rebounds and runs. And great work by Pressy. His quickness saving him there. Well, Brad Savage is just contributing in all areas of the game right now. Cavish just thought about letting it fly. Here's Bua. And Clark, quick outlet over to Farrell, who is then fouled by Cavish, who goes over to check on Farrell. Oh, 
Well, that was a clean play by Butkavishas. Farrell sizes up his options, bounce pass into Odiasi. So 10 point lead, 10 point lead here for Vritas. It's now or never time for EV Baskets. And the drive, Farrell. Oh, what a play. What a play from Farrell. He scores and he's going to the line. Oh, what a play from Farrell. Again, Speedy Smith lets it fly from three. And again, the door opening a little bit here for EV Baskets. Pressy. Paulding, he likes this matchup. He turns. Oh, boy, that's money in the bank. And all of a sudden, it's a five-point game and trying to nip the comeback in the bud. Ritas Vilnius called timeout. How many times has he practiced this shot in his career and taken it in the games, this time shooting it over Karniauskas? Karniauskas, excuse me. Go down to the bench and listen in to Coach Javinas. That's why basketball, you just never know a team can get on a run and all of a sudden a game that looks like it was starting to get away from them, they can get right back in it. You start hitting a couple of shots, you get some a little bit of inspiration as they did from Matt Farrell. And all of a sudden it's a five point deficit. Karinyauskas. Gets it out to Bukavicius. Remember, this is the game of the week, folks, in the Basketball Champions League. Game day five. And good help defense. A little bit too much dribbling there for Bua. The help came. Farrell pulls up and short, follows up the miss. Hands it off to Odiasi, who goes up and misses everything. Well, maybe he needed to pass that back out. But Savicius. And he's fouled, I think, by is it Odiasi or Clark? His third foul. So Martin Broenig is going to come in for Odiasi. 
And that's that's a lot of quality coming in uh, for the man that's in a little bit of foul trouble and needs to sit down. Bornig perhaps brings you some uh, a little bit different, maybe a little bit more of a mid-range jump shot. Ritas Vilnius, meanwhile, missing at the line here. Ratsavishis. He's hardly put a foot wrong tonight, but he has there. He misses the first. Takes his time, and number seven is on the money with that second one. So 12 of 15 now, Ritas Vilnius at the free throw line. That's been a big part of what they've been able to do tonight is to get to the free throw line and put free throws away. But they've missed a couple here in the second in the second half. Paulding, meanwhile, drives in, scores with the left hand. Yeah, don't, you could have fooled me saying he's 39 years old. He looks like he's 29. Right in the Oscars. They get it down low to Butkavishis, and again, Paul uh, Phil Pressey takes it away. Back outside to Farrell, pulls up on the break. And boy, that would have been huge for EV Baskets. That would have cut it to one if it dropped. Speedy Smith gets it to the corner, but Gavishis, that was short. And EV Baskets looking like a different team right now. Seizing the moment. At least they're trying to. Seem to be playing with a lot more conviction in what they want to do here. Cam Clark. And what a rebound from Broidick. Puts it right back up and in. Mr. Putback. And now it's a two-point game. Cut in the Auskis. EV Baskets outscoring Uritas Vilnius 13-7 in this third quarter. They are not going to count the basket, but the foul has been called. So Tanner Lesnar comes back into the game, tries to uh, help this Ritas Vilnius team recapture uh, the winning vibe. Also, Maurice Indoor, who's uh, been so good tonight, he's back in. Karenyauskas over to Indoor. And Indoor even hitting the jump shot tonight. That's he is, he is doing it all. I, I would say that's he's been rather inconsistent offensively in his time. Uh, the defense, the hustle, that's always been there. And if the shots fall for him, then he is a completely different player. Look at this. He comes up with a steal. He goes in for the dunk. Maurice Indoor all of a sudden just grabs the game by the scruff of the neck and gives it back to Ritas Vilnius. You can only appreciate what he's done tonight. He has been sensational coming off the bench. The Lion from Senegal. And look at him roar. 13 points now, along with four rebounds, two steals, two blocks. And he is plus 17 efficiency. So 13 of those 21 bench points, Floritas Vilnius provided by Maurice Indoor. Let's go. After this, hey, after this, give me. Give me situation, you know, that we have head one in the speed. He's also got two of his team's eight steals. Well, this really tells you all you need to know about the most influential players tonight for Ritas Vilnius, Indoor and Gitas Ratsavichas, each with two steals, each with two blocks. And they have combined for 25 points. 13 for Indoor, 12 for Ratsavichas. So it's simple, isn't it? You hustle, you play defense, you get in the passing lanes, you anticipate, you get your hands up. You put your hands straight up, and you block those shots. 
And those guys getting it done right now, and they're both on the court. The lead has gone back to six points. So they have regained the initiative. Mihailik gets it to Brojnik. He goes right at Tanner Lesnar. No, he's going to pass it back out to Pressy. Pressy hands it off, and Cam Clark misses. There's Pounding, though, grabs the rebound and scores. Boy, the shot was so, so short that it fell short and allowed Pounding to Paulding to get the uh, the rebound and put back. Red Savages and rattled out. Well, that was a near miss for for him and a close shave for EVE ba EVE baskets. Mihailik, Cam Clark again, and still will not drop for Clark. Just uh, basket has a lid on it tonight for him. Smith, Tanner Lesnar, and that was long, but here's Red Savage's offensive rebound. Karindiauskas for three, he misses badly, and look at the hustle crashing the boards, and Red Savage is not able to get that miss. And you gotta appreciate the hustle, though. Nine rebounds for Red Savage's. He's going to take us. Uh, Tanner Lesnar is staying in. So Pjanic comes in for Paulding. Velaskis comes in for Speedy Smith. Mihailik. Little hesitation. Decides to put it up. Broidic bats it out, but into the hands of Karindiauskas. Now Karini Oskis goes behind his back. Game still in the balance, really. It's a four-point lead. Karini Oskis from deep. Count it! From number eight. He's been great from three-point range. Two threes for Karini Oskis. Now Clark and finally stops the rock. Gets one to drop. Eight points for Cam Clark. He's four of 12 from the floor. Kurenyauskas, oh, nice over the shoulder pass back to indoor. Oh boy. What a performance from number three tonight. 15 points and all that hustle. Broinik, fouled by Kurenyauskas. Number three on Brisas Vilnius here in this third quarter. They've got plenty to give away. And Kariniauskas uh, bending over like he's going to come out. Adam Avishas comes back into the game for him. Mihailik. Just not dropping really from a high look either. Oh, wonderful defense again by Pressy. He just influences the game with his quick hands and, and defense whenever he's on the court, and especially when his team needs something. And he has, I think he's got such a reputation as well that the, you know, that respect factor is there. You know he's able to uh, get out there and create some havoc. Will they hold it for one shot? Boynick taking on indoor. Oh, tries to make a difficult bounce pass to Mihailik, and it goes off of Red Savages. So Kozlaus, uh, Kozlaskis tells everybody to sit down. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Well, if it did not hit Mihailik, it definitely went off of Ritas because it hit Endur, and then I think it might have hit, hit uh, Red Savages. 11.8 seconds, and EV Baskets will definitely try to hold her for one here. Clark, which is fouled while attempting the three. 
Wow. What a turn of events. How do cannot foul the three point shooter? Yeah, you want to play some D, but you don't want to foul him. So, a tough lesson. Tough lesson for uh, the, the, the 21 year old point guard has to go back to the bench. And here is Clark. Just not on top of his game tonight. Just, just trying to fight through the struggles. And the Vitas Vilnius also are probably going to get the basketball back. Oh boy, Camp Clark makes just one of three. Brad Savage just has it. Plenty of time. And they have committed a foul. Boy. They had the opportunity. They had the opportunity with three free throws. They make just one, and now Ratsavishis is at the line with a chance to take the lead back up to eight points. The foul called on Martin Bruinick. And now he misses his second free throw of the night. So Red Savage is one of three from the stripe. And takes his time. This time makes the second. So still a little bit of time here for EV Baskets. Will they try a long pass or will they try to get it to Pressy? Let him try to push it quickly up the floor. You don't want to turn it over and give Ritas Vilnius another shot. Well, they do get the deep pass over to Mihailik, who launches it. That'll count if he goes, but it was just to the right. Mihail Mihailik trudges over to the bench, a little frustrated. Ritas Vilnius, they lead it 58-51 over EV Baskets at the end of three. Well, both teams really struggling from three-point range, and the Ritas Vilnius free throws uh, continue to be crucial getting to the free throw line, although they did have a few misses in that third quarter. Well, Cam Clark has hit this shot, but he's had uh, some other opportunities where the ball just does not seem to want to go down for him. He's 4 of 12 from the floor. Odiasi, meanwhile, who has the three fouls, he's got 11 points, 5 of 7 from the floor. Ricky Paulding has 8 points, 4 of 7 from the floor, uh, including this uh, turnaround jump shot on the baseline. And Pressy has been very active. He's got four steals to go with his six points. But this this guy here for me has been the player of the game. Maurice Indoor, either he or Red Savage. Uh, he has just been all about defense, intensity, pumping up the emotion. And tonight he's also been hitting his shots. And that is a lethal concoction uh, for that man right there. Indoor has been worth the price of admission. 15 points, 6 of 11 from the floor. He's hitting that mid-range shot. Four rebounds. He's got a couple of steals, a couple of blocks. And there is Good Jonas, the Lithuania International, not playing tonight. Bua hasn't quite had 
the impact tonight that uh, probably the fans would have liked. He's played just under 14 minutes, six points, three rebounds, but he's turned it over three times. Speedy Smith, his pass was uh, into the corner for Tanner Lesnar, goes out of bounds. Uh, those two not on the same page. And Laden showing us his foot skills. Give you baskets. Again, they went on a nice run in that third quarter, but then let it get back away. And now Paulding drives in and banks it in. He is just tough and confident. He knows how to finish. Vermont is back in the game. Gives it to Endor. Broynick on Endor. Broynick. Endure fades, can't get that one to drop. And Pressy able to save it in bounds. Good job by him. So here's another opportunity for EVE Baskets. They were looking down low at Broynick. Paulding, shot clock winding down, decides to launch. And Tanner Lesnar with the rebound right at the free throw line. Benchich imploring his team to play defense. Speedy Smith drives in and is fouled by Brunick. That's a he's over there smiling and laughing, but you know he's a, a little bit frustrated inside. He wants to. He wants his team to get over the hump tonight, to get that big win that's going to put him on a roll. Normantis gets it to Endor. And again, just Lesnar not quite on the same page. Pass from Endor goes over his head and out of bounds. So Tanner Lesnar is going to go out. Yvonne Bua is going to come back in. Cam Clark. Oh, boy. I don't even know why they're trying that pass. He wasn't going to be able to do anything with it. He would have been surrounded by several players, and now Cam Clark can't control it. It goes out of bounds. There was definitely contact with uh, Bua, but not enough to get a foul called. So it's going to state this in for Ritas Vilnius. Speedy Smith gets to the stripe, hands it off the Bua boy. Smart play. Nice finish. Excellent work from Ritas Vilnius. More than twice as many assists for Ritas Vilnius tonight. which just goes to show their offense perhaps working a little bit better, functioning better tonight. Pressy fouled by Ivan Bua. And Savage just comes back in for Endure. And Farrell, who played very well in that third quarter, comes back in from a Heilig. Hasn't quite been on his game tonight. Odiasi was able to get some space, and boy, did he take advantage of it. He went to work. That is a tough catch for him, and he made it look relatively easy. Farrell chasing Normantis, and then Pressy. Who is the foul on, Farrell or Pressy? Pressy thinking, man, I have, I've been stealing the ball all night. You're not going to call one on me now. Yeah. 
Well, they have indeed called the foul. Three point shot. And Farrell again. It's a five point game. Farrell looking for some space. Gets it to Odiasi, who is getting ready to throw it down big time. But the foul is called. Rita's building is two and two. EV Baskets, one and three. And uh, EV Baskets' lone victory came against Ritas Vilnius on game day one. They've lost three straight since. Farrell and trying to get the pass to Odiasi or Paulding, but there was only white shirts there. Romantas. Kareniauskas. And look at the hands of Pressy and Odiasi. Pressy again. That is a dangerous proposition for any player. Point guard, shooting guard, small forward, any player on the court. If Pressy is nearby, you're going to have problems. So tied up, the possession area favors. EV Baskets. Now you know that Pressy would like to get some stuff in the open floor. Here he goes. And, oh, excellent block. But Kavishis swooping over. Now he hustles down the floor. Oh, boy. What a sequence by Arnas. But Kavishis, the Lithuanian international, comes up with a block, hustles to the other end, and gets the layup. Huge sequence. But Bukavicius, he has been tough. We've talked a lot about Ratsavicius and Indoor, but Bukavicius also has three steals, two blocks, and six rebounds to go with his five points. Let's go. Kill you, bring the ball here, okay? You, set the screen for the man, okay? Let's go here, okay? Watch. Yes, you have the seal. Nani, help the seal. What does you have the seal? You have no seal. It's made a hard seal situation. Let's go. Change the screen angle. Change the screen angle. You know, that's what. And we attack and take the decision, okay? Wait on the screen. Wait on the screen. Let's go, guys. Guys. We have no time more on the turnover. Let's go. Let's go. Time. Let's go. Two, three. Let's go. A very festive atmosphere in Vilnius tonight, and uh, that has certainly done nothing to calm the fans. The Bukavish's block, and then he hustles in to the other end and blows past Brojnik for the layup. Still plenty of time for EV Baskets. Five and a half minutes remaining in this contest, the second contest between the two teams this season. Odiasi catches it. Oh, tremendous. He's done a great job making himself available and, and catching the basketball despite being surrounded by white shirts. But Savage is coming around and committing the foul. The two fouls on him. Red Savage just comes out and double teams, and this time it's uh, Ritas Vilnius. Tying up and forcing the referee to look at that possession arrow. And it goes back over to Ritas Vilnius. Grinyaskis oh, looked like he was going to face a double team. Normantis. Steps back for three. Not this time. Now Pressy pushing it quickly. Finds a way. Oh, what a play. Almost had a chance for a three-point play. Red Savages comes in and fouls. And Pressy gets a couple of free throws. 
So third foul on Dretzavicius. Great hustle, though. You got to love how he hustled back. First one is good for the lightning quick point for point guard Pressy. Seven points. Now eight. And back to a five point deficit. Kurnianowskis goes behind his back to avoid Pressy. Normantis. Back to Kreniauskas for three. Will it be his third of the night? Yes, it will. Three, three balls have fallen for that man right there. Pressy again gets into the paint. Over to Bruinick. They are not giving Farrell any space at all out on that perimeter. Oh, what a block by Bua. Not in my house. Normantis down to Bukavicius. And he was fouled by Prissy. That is number four. Number four on Prissy. Look at the block here from Bua. Four nineteen remaining. Bukavich is at the line. He's got five points. And the Aritas Vilnius faithful sensing this is going to be their game tonight as the lead goes back to nine. Make it ten. And it comes out. EV baskets just two of ten from three-point range. And I think they'd like to take some more, but uh Rita's villain is not allowing their jump jump shooters any space out there. They've taken that away from him here in the in the fourth quarter. Pressy. Cam Clark. Farrell. Farrell's the guy they want to let him put him up. Pressy, okay, well, he's going to try, and Odiasi, great hustle from Odiasi to save it. Farrell catches it and puts it up and in. That was all Odiasi right there, that hustle. Terrific play by Odiasi. Normantis, oh, offensive foul on Bua. So Bua is going to go and take a seat and Indoor is coming in for what the coach is hoping will be a slam the door shut time. Bua goes out. Only his second foul, but nevertheless. 15 now for him and Pressy has to be careful. He's got the four fouls. Good hands by Odiasi. Almost getting the steal wide open, but catches. Oh boy, what a dagger. Evie Baskets were chasing the basketball. And but Cavish is, uh, was wide open. And Pressy just gets two of them right back. Terrific play by Pressy. But remember, Pressy does have the four fouls, and his game is to, to gamble, to go for some steals. But I suppose when you're trailing, you've got to, you got to live dangerously, don't you? Normantis. But Cavicius, will it be two in a row? Not this time. No, we will not. So there's still time for EV baskets, but the clock is starting to become the enemy.
Cressy. Over to Paulding, and he gets inside, and oh boy, I would have put money on him making that. Normantis went up and affected the shot. Good defense for number two. Red Savages from deep. They stay with it, but Gavish's offensive rebound. Terrific hustle. Kurenyauskis, not this time. Clark hands it off to Pressy. No time to waste here for EV Baskets. Oh, Farrell thought about launching it from there, but then Kurenyauskis identified him. Clark, shot clock winding down. Loritas Vilnius defense is just so good that in the end, EV Baskets turn it over. Well, just get on your feet and applaud this team tonight. They have played excellent. Great defense. Not giving away that three-point shot, that's for sure. Endure at the strike and can't get the drop. Now less than a minute remaining. Seven points to difference. Pressy drives in. Oh, the follow by Odiasi. Probably the player that of the game for EV Baskets in this fourth quarter. And he's got 17 points now overall, just giving them a chance down the stretch. I mean, if that goes in for Indoor, he was unlucky, it rattled out. But full marks to Pressy for hustling down, getting the shot up, and there for Odiasi with the follow. Odiasi, 17 points, six rebounds. There is a pulse. There is a pulse for EV Baskets, trailing by five points. Well, so many solid performances tonight from these players at different times. And look at the coach. He is living and he is loving the effort. But this is a huge possession. And if you're EV Baskets, you have to get the stop and you have to get the ball. And that has not been easy for them tonight with Ritas Vilnius coming away with a 12 of their 36 rebounds coming on the offensive glass. Oh boy, what a play. It went off of Speedy Smith. Look at him getting on the ground for the basketball. What a mistake by Speedy Smith. Pressy takes it down low. And that's coming out of a timeout. Pressy, oh, look at that. The alley-oop to Odiasi. It's a three-point game. And they come up with another steal. Pressy, unbelievable. And then he hus he hurries up the shot, fails there. Unbelievable. Ritas Vilnius crumbling a little bit here. Losing their concentration, EV Baskets. Boy, talk about coming out and making some plays on defense. Uh, but you have to really wonder how lax Ritas Vilnius were giving the ball away so cheaply twice in the space of about five seconds. Incredible, incredible. And now they're going to try to come up with a steal. And if they don't, at some point, they'll have to foul and put them on the line. And now the question is, do you go for this deal or do you commit the foul here early? Oh, they get the steal. And they have called the foul. Oh, they called the foul on Farrell. I thought they, for a minute, they might have called it on Ritas. 
Well, with 12.2 seconds left, who have they called the foul on? Is it Pressy? Oh, yeah, it's on Pressy. He barged into him in the end. Uh, you just got to tip your hat to that man right there. Talk about defense. You have to want to play defense. And he has come out and given his team a chance tonight with his defense. He didn't he didn't get the call he was hoping for there. He's fouled out of the game. Wonderful performance though from Pressy. Wonderful. He goes out having had six steals going to go with his uh, 10 points. He's only got one assist. His, his defense has just been amazing. But anyway, cut in the Auskis. Okay, this is big. Now, if he makes this, it's a three point game. And then you have the prospect of Ritas Vilnius fouling uh, to prevent a potential game tying three pointer. We'll see how they play it. They, their defense has been so good that they haven't given away many threes tonight. Oh, he only makes one of the two. And now EV Baskets, they can go for the win or they can try to get it down low to Odiasi, perhaps. Here's Farrell. He gets it to the corner. Cam Clark has been quiet. He puts up a three. Oh, he had a chance to win it. He had a chance to win the game at the end, and it just was not Cam Clark's night. And boy, was that a close call for Ritas Vilnius. I'm not sure they would have lived that down if they had lost that one. Ritas Vilnius, so hold on. They win it 71-69 over EV Baskets Oldenburg. Well, look at this. They would have settled for this. Cam Clark and he just, for whatever reason tonight, the ball just would rarely drop for him. He would have paid money to have that shot. And the looks on the faces of Ritas Vilnius uh, spoke volumes. It's like they could not believe they found themselves in that position at the end of the game. Evie Baskets hit just two threes. And Ritas Vilnius have now won three games. And uh, they punched their ticket for at least a spot in the playoffs. They know their basketball Champions League campaign is going to go on beyond uh, this regular season. And who knows? Maybe they'll end up winning the group. We'll see. Indoor Odiasi. What a game. What a finish. So tremendous, tremendous game. Look at the crowd. Ritas Vilnius fans saying thank you to the players and the players saying thank you uh, to the fans. And it was almost a, uh, a nightmarish finish. One jump shot. Had it, had it fallen at the end, it would have been a, well, it would have uh, brought silence to Vilnius, that's for sure. So Ritas Vilnius improved to three and two. And Areda San Pablo Burgos uh, obviously will be hoping that they win tomorrow night. But even so, uh, that would give them a four and one record. And the two teams would still meet on the final game day in Spain. So it has set them up for a, a, a titillating final, incredible uh, showpiece game. Let's listen in to Red Savages. I know we just uh, at the end of the game did uh, too much mistakes and you know the last shot but we just uh, happy that we, that we win the game and that's it. You had an amazing fan support today. How important is that? Yes, it's very important. It's a big pleasure to play at this atmosphere and a big thank you for, to our fans because amazing atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you.
for the win. What are the main reasons to help to achieve it? Say that again. I couldn't hear the question. Congratulations for the win. Thank what you. were the main reasons that helped to achieve that? I think defense. Defense and sacrifice. Uh, we knew it was a game that we had to win, um, and then defense is going to get you win games. So we were focused on that, and we were able to get the win tonight. At the, at the, end, at the end of the third the quarter, the opponents did that game back, but then you had a great run. How important was that? Very important. And, you know, I think it's also, I give credit to the coaches because he was well prepared for this game. And even though the, in the third quarter the team almost came back, we were able to, you know, get the lead back and still stay solid. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he said it all, didn't he? The defense made the difference tonight. EV Baskets will certainly be hoping. Very tough game. What didn't work for your team? Uh, the beginning, the first half, they were getting a lot of offensive rebounds, and they were getting to the, the free throw line. They made their free throws, so that's what got us out the game. Came down to two points, got a rebound. What can you learn from this game? Uh, we got to box out. I mean, we are, we got we to play as a team. The second half, we played a lot better. We got to put 40 minutes together, I think. Thank you. No problem. So EV Baskets will be certainly pulling for Burgos tomorrow to beat Besiktas who will be going into that game. As we look back at these second half best plays, and there were a lot of them. Yeah, just as a reminder, Besiktas uh, will be playing Arreda San Pablo Burgos uh, this game day, and Horitas Vilnius, uh, well, they know that they're going to have a chance regardless to go to Burgos next week and, and play for first place. Because they've improved to three and two, and they won the first meeting uh, with Burgos. Uh, EV Baskets, meanwhile, will be hoping that Burgos do them a favor and beat Besiktas to leave them with a uh, an all-important deciding game against Besiktas on the final game day. And remember, the first meeting between Besiktas and EV Baskets ended only with a two-point win for Besiktas, even though that was in Germany. So it's all happening here. Just a, an incredible second half. And overall well played. You know, you, you didn't really see too many mistakes uh, from Maritas Vilnius tonight, but we did see them uh, lose their grip on the contest in the final minute. Uh, just some care, a little carelessness creeped into their game and it almost cost them dearly. And also, even though the free throw line was good, you saw Tayo Diasi just came to life tonight and just made so many big, important plays. Karim Yaskis was, I thought, was solid tonight, but when he missed a late free throw, that left the door open for a little bit of agony uh, for Vitas Vilnius. But fortunately for them, uh, Cam Clark missed uh, a potential game-winning three ball. Uh, but if you had to pick a player tonight for this EV Baskets, you'd have to say it's either Odiasi or Presti. Those two guys really did uh, give this team a chance tonight uh, to come back and, and win. But again, uh, Ritas Vilnius made just enough plays. They got their noses in front, and they were able to survive this shot right at the end. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Cam Clark, it's going to be a long trip back to Germany for him. He'll be frustrated with that miss. And sighs of relief being breathed by the Ritas Vilnius club, the fans, the players, the coaches. So Ritas Vilnius right now have actually moved into first place. They've got that extra participation point. They're three and two. Of course, Areda San Pablo Burgos in action tomorrow against Besiktas. And Evie Basket still stuck on one win after four consecutive defeats, but uh, still in with a chance. They'll be pulling hard for Areda San Pablo Burgos uh, to beat Besiktas uh, when they meet tomorrow. Great game tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. Ritas Vilnius, hold on for a thriller.